Hello everyone, welcome back. Ashala here bringing you Soul Sampler number 13, Lucky 13. Insights about this upcoming week between July the 18th to the 25th. A big theme that I'm feeling for this week is a sense of personal purpose, identity, motivation. We have like a synthesis, almost like a coalescing of a lot of different paths, inspirations, ideas, and things that we've been visioning, dreaming, planning, thinking about even for the last decade or more. And it's a time right now of synthesizing where we're at with all of these different converging streams of inspiration and personal identity. I get that we have the opportunity even over this next month to take action on certain aspects of our our greatest gifts and our greatest dreams. So having the ability to communicate, share, and put out there what you believe your greatest gift is at this time. It's almost as though by moving into our gifts, into our, our skills, and our potency in a meaningful way this week. That energy of taking action, really stepping into our power, our personal power through our identity and what we see as valuable of what, what we have to contribute. This helps to ease our anxiety of that phenomenon that I've been speaking about lately where we don't really see where we're headed or what the big picture looks like. So it's like the time of visioning from outcome kind of goal and moving our way back to now has shifted and we are actually starting from where we are and expanding our vision outwards based on what we feel our greatest contributions can be at this time. And I get this sense that this goes with us into the fall and we find ourselves more and more aligned with our ultimate purpose, destiny, and greatest strengths and abilities. When we are sort of testing our, our practices in this way, when we are putting ourselves outside of our comfort zone a little bit to have the courage to step deeper into our purpose, it may bring up conflict because the people around us that we're used to working with and collaborating with have us kind of boxed into an identity that is comfortable for them to work with. Um, some of these grooves are built in pretty strong with our friends, family and co-workers, etc. And so a little bit of conflict and tension or um, sort of sparring a little back and forth there's a sense of character building right now and almost as though we are heading into the sun going into Leo, really a time of great courage for humanity to, if, if like never before, step forward into your greatest potential, into your purpose. Um, I just can't say this enough about this week because it's in several different aspects of the reading. Um, confidence confidence through trying, overcoming the small hurdles that are immediately in front of you. Again, this isn't confidence in, oh, wow, I know exactly what I'm doing and I know where I'm going and I know that my plan is foolproof and it's going to succeed. This is confidence in your intention, not your abilities. This is what I say to my students all the time. If we are confident in why we're doing things, if we know what's at the core of our ethics and our motivations, then no matter what happens, what we offer is a gift. Even if it's met with a little bit of conflict or um, resistance at the onset. Because as humans, we are not super um, comfortable with change, especially rapid change. However, this time of the year is a time when people are a bit more open to stepping out of their comfort zone and to experiencing interacting with others that are doing the same thing. Kind of like all life is a stage and during the sun in Leo, the stage is really bright 
and everyone's invited to jump up and participate. We are also looking at our full moon in Aquarius. Now, often Aquarius connects us with, um, you know, kind of futuristic technologies and advancement of humanity through our um, our ability to consider the greater good of the larger whole and to cast aside our personal ego agendas to some extent. So with our full moon in Aquarius, this can be highlighted. Anything where we perhaps sacrifice a little bit of our own personal agenda to be part of something bigger, this features really strongly and not just around this full moon in the next three or four days, but also over the next couple of months, even two or three months I'm hearing, because again, we are, those of us that are awake and activated and feel as though our whole lives have been preparing us for this time, uh, we're really ready to step out of our comfort zone, step out of our routines, our um, identity into a greater version of ourself and a greater version of what collaborating and teamwork looks like. So these concepts, anything to do with team building, with people that you um, would like to imagine are part of your team and working on behalf of the collective. This features very strongly this week. Also, we have communication and communication platforms and woohoo, I finally have the link to share with you. Um, and the YouTube presentation uh, that is an interview with my dear friend, Dan Nielsen, who is uh, an expert with alternative technology and communication systems communication and looking into these alternatives this week is fantastic for that creating new platforms uh, also advertising um, networking we had a bit of that last week that continues this week and um, imagining almost seeing yourself on different stages different community platforms so having the courage to step out of your comfort zone, not only in your immediate kind of friend circle and or business circle, but also in um, being more visible somehow on the international stage. So this could even look like um, participating in more international forums, discussion groups, networks, um, being willing to create a profile, for example, in one of these categories and um, yeah, just just being seen and available to connect with. So even for those of us that have introverted tendencies and feel very private, this feels as though definitely in this next seven to 10 days, perhaps one of the most extroverted times of the whole year. So we're just leaving this sun in Cancer, new moon in Cancer energy where there's been so much vulnerability and kind of internalization. And it's almost a sense of the opposite extreme where we're really gonna go out with our arms wide open, our hearts wide open, our minds wide open, connect and communicate. And I get a feeling that within the next four to six weeks, so kind of into early to mid September, we are looking at having somehow a new direction where we're taking our talents, our dreams, our visions, and our goals, and we're moving in a new direction with other like-minded people. That feels very exciting. There's some kind of a homecoming this week as well, like um, gathering with extended family, even if this is just over the internet, um, yeah, it feels like a kind of family gathering, family reunion uh, possibility is here. Now, finally, I want to say that on the big stage, again, we feel that we're stuck in limbo to some degree. We're on hold. We're waiting for things to change. And yet we're also feeling the intensity, the urgency, um, and there can be that that sense of 
uh, what am I waiting for? I've got to do something. So again, that energy, that restlessness. And, um, you know, this is almost like a natural evolutionary conundrum that we're in. Because I know, for example, the systems in nature as a gardener, it's often when you get to that point where you're like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I've done everything I can. And this, this crop or this um, plant or whatever is not thriving. And quite often when we just sort of go, okay, I accept it. Uh, I'm going to carry on and focus on other things. And you come back a couple of days later and it's suddenly grown. <laughs> so, um, and I also observed this phenomena teaching dance over the last two, two and a half decades and where people can struggle with learning particular techniques in movement. And often if we can just ease off, give a little bit of space and come back perhaps a week or so later, you may see that suddenly you're able to do something you didn't think you were capable of and you didn't even practice. It's like we, our bodies, our energetic being needs time to catch up with how quickly our imagination, our spirit, our vision, and our creativity is moving at so fast. And so let these bodies catch up. Let these energetic bodies catch up and uh, be patient with yourself and others. Many blessings.